Welcome back to a garage in Northern California. A couple months ago, I picked up this uh, linear track to be the y-axis of this laser cutter that I'm working on. And now that I have the tools to do so, I'm actually kind of curious to figure out how much, um, how much slop the bearings have, um, how much backlash we're gonna get if I give this a twist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, um, this test indicator in. And what that's gonna let me do is actually get a measurement uh, visual on just how much backlash we're getting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this is actually indenting the test indicator ever so slightly so we can get a measurement. That looks about right. I'm going to set the indicator reading to about zero. As close as I can see. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take my fingers and just give that a twist. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. Yep. Okay, so what I'm looking at is, um, or at least the, uh, as a heads up, the uh, Minutoyo test indicator, every tick is about five ten thousandths of an inch. And so what we're seeing is about two ticks worth in both directions. And this is basically telling us that um, if I apply uh, some torsion to these uh, to these cables or to these tracks, um, these uh, gliders, I'm going to get about a thousandth of an inch of wiggle um, if I happen to be exhibiting that sort of load on it. Um, luckily, this is okay because um, it's a laser cutter, so it's not really going to be experiencing any loads when it's actually doing its cutting. So um, if in the future I might have to consider getting some preloaded bearings if I wanted to take these and uh, create a router out of that, uh, out of these parts. Um, but for the laser cutter, this is actually more than sufficient. And yeah, I'm pretty impressed with uh, AliExpress. What do you know?